Ooh wee, sure is hot today. The sun is glowing, the guns are showing, and the beer is certainly flowing. And with the high of 80 plus degrees today, as of recording this, summer is certainly upon us. Welcome back to Cloudless and Indy. I'm Cloudless, and I'm an Indy. And fortunately for you, it is another beer review. Roll that intro. I am back inside and I thought for this video because I spent the past few hours uh, doing yard work that I, I kind of want to review a refreshing beer all right and I think I may have found one uh, but also one that wasn't an IPA <laughs> I have a lot of IPAs in the fridge and and while I will get through them I, I just kind of wanted something different something just light and refreshing and I really hope that this beer is that. What is a beer you ask? Well, that beer is Whiskers on Kittens by Metazole Brewing in Indianapolis, Indiana. Pretty much right downtown on South College, South College Avenue. You already know the brewery. They're big on the animals and all that stuff. Uh, you know, they allow you to bring your dogs. I'm um, inside, they even have a dog park at the brewery. Um, it's a pretty nice spot. I mean, every time I go, parking is a little hectic, but I always manage to, to find a spot in the parking lot, thankfully. I, I've been fortunate. But um, yeah, so this beer, Whiskers on Kittens, if you don't already know, is a Vienna Lager. And this is, of course, a one pint can with an ABV of 5.1 and an IBU of 25. So, yeah, let's uh, get into the flavor notes and then, of course, into the tasting notes. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't able to find a lot of information on this beer online. I actually had to go to Untapped, uh, but I'll do what I can as far as, you know, posting uh, what I'm saying somewhere on the video. All right, so abstract, double decoct, 100% Vienna malt and noble hops. Tasting notes, this beautiful amber Austrian inspired lager is brewed with 100% Vienna malt, which undergoes an intense double, de double decoction mashing regime to bring out rich, bready, and toasty malt characters. We use some of the finest European noble hops to balance this with a slightly spicy and floral aroma and flavor. The rich malt profile, delicate hop accent, and the clean lager finish are a few of our favorite things. I mean, who doesn't like that, right? Um, and of course, there's just some other stuff on the can. I'll just do a quick... Uh, rotational of the can here but um i think as they have on every can you know they help the animals and they ask that you recycle the cans if you haven't already noticed that this is a stickered can due to what sun king likes to call the can apocalypse i think <laughs> they're thinking that there's a shortage of cans so they're reusing the cans and just slapping stickers on them um, so with that out of the way, let's get into cracking it open. Um, and of course I'll be using, once again, my wine in wine glass. Get used to seeing this, um, until I can get a cloudless and indie, um, design on the glass. I'll probably be using this one, um, for the time being. Let's, um, <clears throat> crack it open.
Of course, I, I, I don't have a monitor <laughs> to view myself because I'm just trying something new. So, I won't be able to see how this looks. But look at that great head formation there. Absolutely beautiful. We do have a very dark honey um, color. Um, some people might call that uh, pretty close to amber, like borderline. Um, but we're just gonna say a dark honey color. The head is very bright. Um, very good looking head, lots of bubbles there. Um, yeah, big bubbles, small bubbles. Um, and, and yeah, and now they're all, um, now they're popping, the big ones. I can't really smell anything from this far away. This beer isn't that, um, that aromatic, at least from the can. So let's move a little bit closer. Mm. And right away, you get the bread. <laughs> you get the bread right away. Mm. Mm. Very, um, I want to say maybe a, um, a slight caramel aroma. Mm. Definitely a grainy aroma. Some could say malty, but not like sweet malts. Mm. And it's very subtle, very light aroma. I have to actually get pretty much stick my nose in the glass just to even get the smell. Mm. All right, well, let's have a taste. Well, first, I want to say that because uh, I've been doing it every video, not very transparent, although I can see the Indiana Wine and Logo on the other side of the glass. Uh, but that's about it. So, um, mm. great head there. Mm. Wow. So there's a slight bitterness there, obviously getting the hops, but very smooth on the palate. Um, Mm. Definitely getting that floral. Yeah, um, and of course with that head, you do get some some creaminess there. Mm. It's very good. Um, I could, how do you say, I wanna say the finish, there is quite a bit of a finish there. It is um, pretty lasting. I wanna say it's a very, um, a, I wanna say it's a bitter, uh, grainy, uh, finish <clears throat> not very sweet um, but I would, I, would, I would almost say that mm, if I did a blind tasting of this I would probably think it was like um, like maybe like a, uh, a very low hobby IPA <laughs> you know the hops are very present in this beer. There's no denying that. Mm. I will have to say though, that I don't necessarily have enough, um, have that much experience with Vienna hops. And so I'm going to have to store the taste of this beer in my memory. So I can remember, so I can um, compare that to another beer with um, Vienna hops. I want to say though that, uh, no. I actually have the crispy 500 here from the, the last video <laughs> where I saw the can in the room. Um, but I could have swore I had another beer that had Vienna, Vienna malt in it. Uh, so like I said, unless I had another beer to compare it, I can't really tell what the Vienna malt are supposed to taste like other than just the, uh, the toasty, the bready malt characters. And obviously we do get that in the beer. I am, I do get the bready. I'm not sure about the toastiness, but I am getting the bready. I am getting the creaminess, um, at least from the head. Uh, but this is very smooth. This is very light. And, um, and with 25 IBUs, surprisingly, I mean, maybe not surprisingly, because if, you know, if I had a beer that's at 50 IBUs, I'm definitely tasting the hops. Um, so this is only half that, and I can definitely taste the hop. I'm definitely getting that bitterness there. 
uh, but it's still but it's subtle enough that it's still very enjoyable. Um, and I could definitely, on a scale between, you know, uh, having a just a taste of it from an eight ounce glass all the way up to buying the whole keg, I would definitely drink um, a liter of this. Um, we're going to Oktoberfest and we're carrying this around, but that may be it. I may only have one liter of it and I may, um, I may even have two liters. You know what? We'll go for the growler. I may actually buy a growler of this, 64, so two liters of this, but I, I would not buy the keg. I do apologize. I don't even know what I'm apologizing for, <laughs> but it's still refreshing after a hot, sunny day doing the yard work. This is very enjoyable. Um, I think it would even be enjoyable maybe during any time of the year, um, just with the light. And now I'm spilling beer all over myself. <laughs> just with the lightness of, of you know, of the, of the body. Um, it's, the body's very light. Um, and just the breadiness, um, you know, the beer, you know, I think this is definitely a year round beer and I would recommend. And I think that's pretty much all I got. With that being said, this is Clubless and Indy. Um, and I just covered Whiskers on Kittens by Metazoa Brewery in Indianapolis, downtown Indianapolis, um, Indiana. And, uh, well, first, well, well, first, let me go ahead and just pour the rest of this in the glass just so you can see the head form there. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And I think I'm gonna start doing that every video. First, I'm gonna do the first, the first pour is gonna be the tasting pour. And then the second pour is gonna be to fill the glass so you can see that head formation and just the, just the body of the beer, just the color in general. So, prost, salud, slancha, nazdrovia, cheers, peace out, and I will see you guys in the next one.